Hi, um, so I'm going to be painting this orange. I have a toned canvas. I would say it's number two value. And we're just simply going to be talking about value when we talk about this orange. And um, I'm just gonna block it in. So I'm gonna find the tabletop. And how tall do I wanna make this orange? I think that's tall. And then this is the side of the orange, so I have Tabletop, tabletop, how high do I want to make it? I'm just blocking it in. Now I'm going to put in the form shadow. The, sh the form shadow is symmetrical to the other side of the orange. Then, and then you have the cast shadow sitting on the table, right? So we know that shadow and light are different values and we want to simplify them to keep them one value and keep the shape together. So what value is the shadow on this orange? I would say it's number four, five. Five is probably the cast shadow, four is the form shadow, and three might be the reflected light inside of the shadow. Now though, on the light side, would I would say it's number one, two, and three. Three is the darkest dark in the light, one is the highlight, so it's one, two, and three in the light. Once you put four and five in the light, you break up the light, you break up the shape. So we don't wanna do that. And in the shadow, we don't wanna put number one and number two in the shadow, or we'll break up the shape of the shadow. I'm gonna find number four value. Now the background also is probably number four. It's darker than the orange. Now the tabletop is going to be a value a little bit lighter because the ta the light is hitting the table so it's going to be a value a little bit lighter than the background. So not that much but a little bit more. the highlight washes out all the color on the on the object it's the lightest light in the painting it's like number value number one and we're going to just take the edges and make it part of the orange The light comes over the shoulder. just shaping the orange but it might look weird the light is so different from the shadow but I keep it that way for a while I let the I just want to show you how there are different values the light and the shadow between the shadow and the light you will put a middle color which will be 
value probably number three or four. You can watch on the Artist Guild, Master David LaFell will show you how to paint an orange and it's fantastic. But this was just the intro of explaining values to you and keeping the shadow separate from the light and knowing what the values of the light and shadow are different. And um, obviously we can take this a lot further and make this a beautiful orange, but I think that you can see that on the artist skills.